I took a ride up to uh, Bluffs Regional Park. I'm above, uh, what am I, Lone Tree, Colorado right now, at about 6,200 feet. Not a bad view from up here. I came to take a look at the uh, Castle Rock conglomerate. So those of us who do plaster prospecting in the Denver metro area, one of us are um, finding gold that was originally deposited in, in the Castle Rock conglomerate. So I'll give you a look. See here, this is uh, this, this sediment was washed down from Cold Creek Canyon about. Of course, my audio decided to cut out in this section. So you can see the, the rock, the conglomerate here is uh, fairly fine grain, very light in color. Uh, you can imagine if you go to Cherry Creek, Cherry Creek, uh, um, you'll see these piles of sand, blonde sand. Uh, this is probably the environment that this rock was deposited in. There's not running water for two miles in, in any distance, any, any direction, but it's kind of crazy to see these obviously water-worn cobbles just strewn all about. Uh, these actually fell out of the conglomerate rock. So in other places, uh, in the ancient stream bed, the, uh, you know, the rock was higher energy, there was mainly cobbles. So the Castle Rock conglomerate had a lot of cobbles, and, and when the Castle Rock conglomerate erodes, those cobbles drop out, and that's what we're left with here. So if we were gonna go uh, do some ore prospecting in the Castle Rock conglomerate, we would try to find an area that had cobbles like this, like we would in a modern stream. You see a lot of uh, quartz cobbles. We're a long way from the source of any quartz. So uh, yeah, this is, it came out of the conglomerate and presumably this is where the gold uh, actually was also sitting in the quartz veins. Here's a piece of quartzite with some iron staining. I took a piece of the conglomerate home with me um, from a place that's not uh, restricted in the city of Lone Tree. Um, it's quite dense, actually more dense than concrete, but it looks like concrete. Uh, I got, you know, small to medium sized grains in here and they're quite cemented together. I'll go ahead and crush this up and see what's in there. I crushed up my Castle Rock conglomerate rock and uh, got it here. This is the minus 20 mesh material. There's the plus 20 mesh. It's mostly individual grains and a few chunks of conglomerate, but I'm just going to go with this. So I'll pan this out and show you when I get down to the bottom. So believe it or not, after that, I crushed that piece of rock, panned it down, I've got some kind of shiny looking pieces of material. Some of them are really tiny and they're not moving. They, they are behaving like gold. I'm gonna have to get them out of the microscope to confirm. So that's a surprise.